Hey sled friends, I'm Amy Marie. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> this is the kickoff video for the 2022-2023 sled season. And we actually got a little bit of snow this morning. So I am just so stoked <laughs> now. I'm gonna go over everything that I wear for backcountry sledding. You know, I've always thought it was really unfair that the best, most gorgeous, beautiful bluebird days are also cold as balls. <laughs> so the gear that you choose to wear is really friggin' important. I've been sledding my whole life and I've made a whole lot of mistakes and I've learned it the hard way. <laughs> so my goal for this video is to show you guys what I wear, why I wear it, and maybe it'll help you be more informed for the decisions you make in your gear choices this year. Let's get to it. <laughs> so this is the base layer. I always start with some merino wool socks. I get these ones from Costco and I've been really happy with them. They're thicker than a normal sock. Merino wool is awesome because it's not itchy. It's antimicrobial. I have trouble with that word. And um, it's moisture wicking. So my feet always stay warm and dry as long as I have these socks on. Also, they're from Costco, so you can afford to have a dozen pairs. <laughs> I always like to wear a set out there, but I'll actually, we always have to drive a little ways. I like to put on a fresh set right as I put my boots on, so I know I'm gonna be good for the day. Nothing sucks more than cold feet. For my top, this is the Climb Solstice. This is the 1.0. So it was on super sale on the Climb website and I snagged one. It was in my color and I had to. So this is gonna be great. It has the thumb holes and it's nice and soft and cozy. So for bottoms, it might surprise you. I don't wear a traditional base layer bottom. What I do wear are these. These pants are from Stoko Designs. The really cool thing about these pants are that they're a knee brace. So there's actually cables that run all the way through them and they have support exactly where you need it. You tighten them with two dials in the back and it works just like the BOA system for your boots. So what I like to do is to have them completely loosened off for the truck ride out. When I'm getting suited up, I'll tighten up the right knee, because that's my bad one. I'll tighten that up to as much support as I need, and I can leave the left side loose. So super comfortable, all they wear, highly recommend. They are a little fun to get into though. <laughs> I don't always wear a sweater, but I do always pack one. This one is what's in my bag most often. This is just a Skidoo mid-layer. What I really like about this is that there's no hood, so I hate that extra bulk on the back of my neck. And I don't even know how many years I've had it, but it's been a stellar sweater. I'm always toasty warm. Aside from that Skidoo mid-layer, I am a huge fan of my Stanfield, the traditional wool. So I grew up on the trap line with my grandpa and my dad. So a lot of my sledding background is less backcountry send it <laughs> and more adventure style. So there's making trails, breaking trails. There's a lot of cutting trees. It's very, very, very different than just backcountry snowmobiling. So my parents have bought us all wool and I wear it all the time. The downside is that it's a little bit scratchy. The old stuff that works paired with the new technology fabrics, it's freaking bulletproof. So on a super cold day, 
or when I'm going to be out at the cabin doing a little more than just riding for pleasure, I'm going to be in my stamp field. So we just went over that I have shitty knees. I had ACL repair on the right knee and on the left knee, I actually put it straight through the side panel of my XM a couple years ago. But as soon as I got home, <laughs> I started looking for knee guards. So this was the old one. They served me well, I will give them that. Um, when I got the opportunity to work with Mountain Lab this year, the first thing I jumped on was their Snowmobile Pro knee guards. If you saw the previous knee guards on their website, you need to go check these ones out. They are a sleeve style with a silicone around the top and bottom of the sleeve so it can't move. The foam that they're made out of is like smart impact stuff. So it hardens on impact. When you don't need them, they're comfortable, you're easy to move in, but as soon as there's an impact, that protection's gonna be there for you. So between my knee brace and my knee guards, I think I'm gonna be really set up well this year. <laughs> the one I've been waiting to show you. Uh, this is the new Climb Shredza. I cannot tell you how late to the party I am on the mono piece suit. I have been very hardcore bibs and jacket for years. I bought a mono, it was fully insulated. I never ever wore it. I just sold it this year. <laughs> but when this came out, I had to jump. I had to. One, it's in my colors, right? Because. It matters, <laughs> it definitely matters. But I am so impressed with this suit. It fits like a dream. You know how some women are like, they get in their little black dress and they feel all good? This is my little black dress. Like, it feels so good. It's really nice and fitted. It's got the thumb holes as well. It has the zipper on the back. Ladies. In the climb bib and jacket, I'm a medium. In the shredza, I'm a large. So take a look at the size chart, but you may want to size up. What are you doing? You're sneaking in. You're wet, go away, you're wet. Oh my. Yeah, you're wet. Pause. One other thing that I'm really excited about is that the arms are long enough without the shoulders going too wide. And I know that was a lot of trouble for, for other women with other suits. So, uh, standard with all the climb stuff, it's got the vents, it's got the double coated zippers, um, waterproof, windproof obviously vortex you're gonna be warm and dry the whole day through it's got a little extra padding in the knees which you know i'm all about it's gonna be a great suit all right i'm gonna speed around the rest of this stuff because although it's a although it is all really important stuff a lot of it's the same across the board I'm going to be running the Climb F3 helmet again with the edge goggle. Um, I love this goggle. Can you tell? Because it's kind of my color. So that was the reason I went with that one. I did scratch them this summer when I was goofing around. So I gotta get some new lenses for these. I picked up the F3 helmet mount for the GoPro. So I think that's gonna be a fun addition for the future videos. Um, but this helmet, Honestly, I bought it because it was the cheapest one and it's been wonderful. I get really bad migraine tension headaches and this has never triggered it. So I've had heavier helmets in the past and I've ended up with migraines on the hill and that is the absolute worst place to have one. Uh, it's got enough ventilation, so you're warm, but you're not hot. 
Um, I do always wear a Bella Clava with mine, mostly because I can't handle hair in my face. If I have like one little hair coming through my goggle, I have to stop and fix it. I have a pair of Climb Aurora boots that I'm gonna squeeze one more year out of. These boots have been bulletproof. I bought them in 2019. It was the year before COVID shut everything down. I bought these boots at the Alberta Snow Show for one steal of a deal because that is how this girl rolls. And they've been fantastic. My feet don't get cold, especially when I pair them with my merino wool socks. Last but not least, these bad boys are the Climb Bombshell. I need a new pair. These are obviously the older style. They just came out with a brand new one. They have a bit longer cuff on them. But these ones are so worn. The, the palm is coming off. The, the fabric inside feels condensed just because <laughs> I've been white knuckled too many times. But these gloves are the perfect mix of warmth and dexterity. That's it for me. That's what I'm gonna be wearing this year. Thank you guys so much for watching along. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I would absolutely love it if you would like and subscribe. That'll just tell me that something I'm doing is working. And I'm just really excited to bring you guys videos of all my adventures this year. It's gonna be a totally different season for me than what I'm used to. I'm gonna be riding with a whole bunch of new people and a whole bunch of new places, so gonna be a good year. Thanks, we'll see you next time.